Okay, guys, how you doing? Hey, welcome to week eight. This is it. We are done after this. Um, wow, this class flew by, didn't it? I just want to say I've really enjoyed this class. I think the group is super engaged. Our discussion boards have been intense. Critique boards, you guys are good. Good group. I, I'm, I'm going to miss this class quite a bit. I, I, I mean that. I think this class has been so engaged. And um, it's been very rewarding as an instructor to watch this kind of engagement and watch you guys play off each other and really help nurture each other as designers and thinkers as well. So fantastic job there. Okay, what are we doing in week eight? We got this presentation, Stepping in Front of Backend Development. And this is a good little lecture. And it just kind of asks you, this kind of, you know, read through it, it kind of asks you to think about your role as a designer. What are we doing as designers? I think there's a lot of misconceptions about designers and that are known as the trap. I think a lot of young designers consider themselves to be in design to express their artistic identity. And I think as, as, as young designer, young student designers nurture um, in the field of design, I think they understand that design is not about self-expression, it's more about communication. And that's a really important thing to understand. I think another misconception is that a lot of, a lot of folks consider communication designers to be pencil pushers, meaning that we have a client, our client tells us what to do, and we do it. That's not true either, as we know that we're the experts. I mean, we're, we're communication experts. It's up, to, it's up to us to educate our, our clients. And I think that um, through this project, the Olympic project, I think that's become very apparent in that diff, the different ways to develop a story, the different ways to communicate with um, various audiences, in this case, transcending um, transcending uh, cultural and multicultural and language barriers through the use of sign and symbol and communication in terms of heavy development research and development and in order to communicate with with international audiences and and and, and multi background audiences um, you know where you don't want to offend any specific group but you want to inform and educate all members of the group so that all points to research and i think that's one of the most important things that we have going for us in this particular project is the research stage which brings me to the final presentation so when we take a look at the overview of the final presentation it has to do with the research phase one was our research and data gathering and that needs to be an important part of your final presentation i think that a lot of students have not included that in their preliminary work and some of their um, um, submissions uh, at this point. A lot of students are still like placing their, uh, uh, spend time placing their, their, their graphics on different collateral materials. So, okay, so here's my logo. I'm going to place it on a coffee mug and I'm going to put it on a poster and I'm going to put it on the side of a bus and call it a day. And as we know, this project is asking for a lot more than that. We're asking you to develop a story. So the story consists of phase one research uh, uh, research and data gathering. And that's the whole backbone of the project. That's the story. That's the backbone, the corner, the foundational cornerstone of the project is that research to begin developing the story. Let me show you what I mean. I know I use this a lot, guys. I know I do. And, and please forgive me, but I'm going to bring it up again. The Santiago Chile. Um, and one of the reasons why I use this, this so much is because it tells a story. So it starts out with the, um, uh, phase one with the research um, data collection, the data gathering and presentation of that research and data gathering. So here's the beginning of the story. Here's the location. Here's some attributes of the location. Here's a good reason why this location could be considered for this event. Then we take the story to the next step. We talk about our conceptual design. So I'm going to take all of the attributes from the first part of the story. I'm going to extract things from that first part of the story, extract visual and factual attributes from the first part of the story. And I'm not going to start to use that to develop my, my concept, visual concept. All right, the branding package. All right, so then we're starting to work on the logos and how do the logos communicate with the audience, this multicultural audience in a consistent way without offending, but informing all, without offending any, but informing all, okay? So uh, symbolic communication through the development of your logos. Then we move to the fifth element and, and supporting graphics. So we don't just, we're not just stuck with a logo. Okay, we have supporting graphics that also point to the research and the development and the methodology in the whole research phase 
from where we, we, we come from, the research ideation through to the visual um, presentation, and then on to continue the story by showing our branding package in different scenarios. Okay, so this is the story. This is why I use this example so much. Okay, you guys are probably sick of seeing that, so let's get out of that. Okay, um, so anyways, back to this week, so final presentation. Um, I just wanted to mention that a little bit about, about the story because it is a story. Uh, week eight, right here. Um, where is it? Uh, final presentation, week eight. Phase four, final presentation. Um, this week, it, it says in the final presentation um, overview, this week you will begin a final phase of the project. You will be required to write a story presenting all of the work and findings, okay? That's part of your presentation, okay? So in that, please refer to those examples because they're very, very good at, at, at showing exactly what we're doing and how we're telling this story. Okay, so then we have a couple of presentations this week. Uh, this is a great one, Seth Godin. This is broken. This is really, really entertaining. Very interesting. It gets you thinking about design. Charles and Ray Ames, another great one. Some of you have seen the Netflix movie. This is a, a nice little little video as well. Okay, I'm gonna leave it at that, guys, because we've got enough work to do this week. I don't wanna take too much of your time here. So anyways, you know I'm here. So uh, a lot of students have uh, posted critique, um, uh, week seven critique, and those, there, there's some students have posted a couple of times, and you know I'll get back with you on critique pretty much immediately. So, uh, you know, I made a promise to you guys week one. I don't know if you guys remember, but I promised you, if you're working, I'm working. And those of you who have been presenting the work early, you know that I hold my promise on that because if you're going to submit, I'm going to critique. I don't, I'm not going to wait till the end of the week. I'm going to get your critique back to you pretty much immediately. So keep that in mind this week. So if you want, if you need help, if you need um, assistance in developing uh, if you get stuck or anything, just throw it up on a critique board. Let me know, and I'll help you through it, okay? And um, other than that, we're due Sunday, final presentation. All right, guys, I'll, I'll provide a, uh, a schedule of deliverables this week uh, at the bottom of this announcement. But anyways, again, thanks, everybody. Fantastic class. Really, really enjoyed it. I'm going to miss this class. I'll see you guys this week. Thank you.